Hello, hello, and welcome to What is Crypto? I'm Matt, and this is Crypto. Today, I'm going to be talking to you about Casper, ticker signal KAS, and Casper's main competitors. So one of these is also a sleeper project um, with a market cap under 20 mil, and there's another one with a market cap just above the 20 mil mark, so stay tuned. But firstly, a bit about my channel. Here I give to the point crypto information and education and discuss all things crypto. I try to be short and sweet as time is money and money is more coins and tokens to fill up those bags. So like and subscribe for more alpha in the crypto space. And yeah, just to be generally hyped up and excited by a Casper bull who knows that we're sitting on an absolute winner. So subscribe legends, I'd appreciate it and appreciate you. All right, let's get into it. So this is an update on my previous video on the Casper competitors, which I covered way back in July of 2023. So looking at the Casper price all the way back then, it's gonna take me a while to scroll back. Looking at the Casper price all the way back then on the 6th of July, it was trading at around 1.5 cents. So if you jumped in then, you'd be sitting on at least a 10X and that's at a price point that I think is still pretty attractive today. But yeah, alrighty, I'll get into the actual comparisons and the competitors for Casper. So how I see Casper today with its competitors, I feel like they fall into two categories. One is being that digital silver, the peer-to-peer -peer payment mechanism, and the other one being a layer one blockchain to develop dApps on. So I'm only gonna cover the digital silver one in this video, just so I don't have it go too long. And then if you're interested, I can also cover its comparisons to other layer ones for dApp development. As I see it, to compete for the title of a digital silver to Bitcoin's gold, a cryptocurrency needs to be highly decentralized, cheaper to use than Bitcoin, and scalable for mass adoption. It needs to be more abundant, faster, and highly secure. In the long run, it has to be user-friendly, really as user-friendly as using a MasterCard, or this will hinder mass adoption. So first competitor, we've got Bitcoin itself with Bitcoin, the Lightning Network. So I believe this is actually the biggest competitor to Casper, and it's definitely the most widely adopted and talked about. So the Lightning Network is a second layer for the Bitcoin blockchain, which serves to speed up transaction times and decrease network congestion. It's a technological solution designed to solve problems associated with the Bitcoin blockchain by introducing off-chain transactions, by creating payment channels between participants, allowing them to conduct multiple transactions without recording each one on Bitcoin's blockchain. So that's a little bit complex, but really it allows you to send more transactions faster and cheaper to avoid network congestion and lag. So it's a really cool concept and it's awesome technology However, I think the fact that Bitcoin is too scarce and valuable will really prevent its day-to-day -day use as people won't want to spend their Bitcoin. It's more like a gold that people will want to hoard. Um, this is further shown by the increased interest in the Bitcoin ETFs and institutional adoption. So competitor number two, the first real competitor is Litecoin. And I say it's the first real competitor, but also I don't think Litecoin really holds a candle to Casper. So Litecoin was the original silver to Bitcoin's gold, founded in 2011 by Charlie Lee. It's a layer one proof of work, uh, decentralized cryptocurrency that offers faster transaction times and faster confirmation times. It uses a different hashing algorithm than Bitcoin, but it also has older technology similar to Bitcoin, which means that compared to newer things, it really can't compete. So it does have faster transactions and faster confirmations, but if you're talking about a globally scalable, mass adopted digital silver, Litecoin really won't be able to keep up either. So I'm only gonna to quickly touch on three and four as they're Bitcoin Cash and Bitcoin Satoshi Vision. So Bitcoin Cash is a hard fork of Bitcoin. Bitcoin Cash has a transaction block size of 32 megabytes, which allows for over 100 transactions per second, while Bitcoin can only process seven transactions per second. It's slightly faster, but the community is fragmented. It hasn't gained real traction the whole time it's been used. So I don't really see this being much of a competitor either. Bitcoin Satoshi Vision as well. The only way I can see this competing with Bitcoin the Lightning Network or with Casper 
is if Craig Wright, the founder, is proven to be Satoshi. Now I'll let you guys do a little bit of a look into that as he's made some pretty outlandish claims, which people such as Ethereum's Vitalik Buterin have kind of seen as laughable. But without going into all that stuff, Bitcoin Satoshi vision, it's been around quite a while and it hasn't gained real traction the whole time it's been used. So I don't really see this being much of a competitor either. Bitcoin Satoshi vision as well. The only way I can see this competing with Bitcoin, um, uh, Bitcoin the Lightning Network or with Casper is if Craig Wright, the founder, is proven to be Satoshi. Now I'll let you guys do a little bit of a look into that as he's made some pretty outlandish claims, which people such as Ethereum's Vitalik Buterin have kind of seen as laughable. But without going into all that stuff, Bitcoin Satoshi Vision, it's been around quite a while and it hasn't gained much traction. Although it's increased in value a little bit recently, I only see this being a good investment if Craig Wright is in fact proven to be Satoshi, which he could do by moving some of the Genesis blocks, but that's a conversation for another day. On to number five. So here it gets a little bit interesting. So we've gone through some big market caps. So Bitcoin Satoshi Vision, 2.2 billion. Bitcoin Cash, 8.5 billion. Litecoin, 7.2 billion. Really big market caps. We're going down all the way to Taraxa, which has a market cap of 61 million. So a lot smaller. So some people have compared this to Casper as it also uses the block DAG technology. But without going too in depth into it, uh, Taraxa is a proof of stake instead of a proof of work. And also there was a 70% pre-allocation compared to Casper's fair launched. So Casper had no, uh, no um, pre-mine, no IDO. There was no distribution of the tokens. It was all launched fairly, whereas Ka um, Taraxa has a 70% pre-allocation. So I'm not saying it won't do well and it might jump on the block DAG narrative. But yeah, I personally won't be getting Taraxa and I don't think that it is really even kind of fair to list them in the same conversation. But as it is a block DAG, people will talk about it. So yeah, there are my two cents on that. Next up, we have Nexa. So this is the micro cap gem. Um, <laughs> Nexa is a really interesting one. So... Nexa is completely fair launched. Um, there was no ICO, no pre-mine, no dev tax, no team allocation or VC funding. It's a unique proof of work that can process uh, reported 10 billion transactions daily. So it claims to be super fast, super scalable, super cheap, uh, and has a really low market cap. So obviously very, very, very risky. Um, but yeah, this is another one just to keep an eye on. It's just started to peak up a little bit of interest in recent days. Uh, over the last seven days, it's up 22%, still down 20% all in all, um, has a very, very small market cap. Uh, another couple of things to mention about Nexa that interested me is the team uh, behind Nexa is Bitcoin Unlimited, who helped with the Bitcoin and Bitcoin Cash um, helped with some of the technology in there. It also has a four-year halving like Bitcoin and it has a 21 trillion supply. So although it does have quite a lot of dilution to come with only 10% being in circulation, I think if we're going to look at a proper peer-to-peer -peer digital silver that is meant to be spent, you do want something with a large supply. So Nexa, it could be a little bit of a sleeper and even if it doesn't end up being that, People might jump on board thinking it's got a low market cap. What are some Casper competitors? What are some other digital silver possibilities that also have had a fair launch that have a market cap under 50 mil? There's not many options. So yeah, Nexa could garner a bit of interest via that. Other than that, there are CBDCs, which are central bank digital currencies, which I think quite frankly are pretty terrifying. They really seek to curb freedom and control with the government being able to track your spending and really control on what you spend on. So if you are interested in decentralization or freedom at all, you do not want a CBDC. So once again, I won't even mention that in too much depth. And finally, you've got some privacy coins in Monero, Zcash and Epic Cash. I think they're in a different narrative as well. Privacy coins are, I think, maybe gonna have a resurgence. 
Uh, I'll do a little bit more of a deep dive into them in a future video. Uh, Monero's the leader there in that space by far. But once again, I think it's really a different audience than Casper. Also, thank you very much for making it to the end of the video. Sorry, it was a bit of a longer one. There's a bit more to discuss. I just wanna say as well that Casper also has another use case. Casper has the use case of being a layer one. Now, being a layer one will allow uh, projects to develop dApps on it. So it could potentially have the use case and compete with other layer ones, such as Ethereum, Avalanche, uh, Cosmos, Cardano, yeah, and a couple of other ones. But yeah, anyway, that main point of today's video was talking about it in a comparison to digital silver peer-to-peer -peer payments, which is Satoshi's vision. So that's gonna wrap it up for today. Thank you so much for staying along to the end. I know it was a bit long-winded, but I appreciate you, I appreciate your time. Please like and subscribe, I'd really appreciate it. If you want me to keep punching out some content, if you want me to keep hyping up Casper and really trying to share what is a pretty amazing project, yeah, follow along. Awesome legends, thanks so much. Keep hodling and I'll catch you in the next one.